Hi, George again from Blackbird Realty. Today, we're out at the s &J Landscaping Water Clock Training Facility. How to program your clock. Las Vegas has four seasons a year that require the clocks to be changed. I can tell you from a property manager standpoint, what a big, big headache for me because no one knows how to do these clocks. Jimmy's gonna give us a little bit of a training on the clocks here. Hopefully they'll be able to pick it up or know who to call, where to go. This is Jimmy McKee from McKee Development and s &J Landscaping. Thank you, George. There's a couple of things that I want you guys to understand. The most important thing, if you can wrap your mind around, is although we have lots of different clocks here, they all have the same function. Every one of these has a battery. These batteries should be changed every year, once a year, just to make sure that you have good batteries. Because if you have a power outage or a power surge, it will save your program. You have your auto, your date time. You wanna make sure that your date time is correct. And the one thing you need to keep in mind with this one and your rain dial, or rain bird, excuse me, is to hit the enter button when you're done. The enter button will actually save the program that you have. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to the start times. Your start times is always gonna tell you what time of day you want the clock to come on. So your first start time, say you're gonna hit the plus key, and you're gonna run through and say, we want uh, 1224 a.m. If that's the time you're watering, you're gonna water different in the summertime than you are in the wintertime. So if I went to 1224, I hit enter, it saved it. So then I'm on the next watering time. I'm gonna hit a plus and I'm gonna run it up to two o'clock a.m., which is not correct, but I want you to understand what I'm doing. Enter, so now it moves down to the next program start time. So I'm gonna program the next program start time and you have AM and PM and you need to make sure that that's correct. And you hit the enter. So now I've saved three watering times on this clock. My station duration is going to tell me how long I want it to water. Your grass is typically gonna be five minutes. Your drip system, if you're running concurrently, is gonna be 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm gonna hit the plus key. Say my first program is a drip. I've got 20 minutes, I'm gonna hit enter. Maybe my second one is a grass. I'll do five and enter. And then maybe my third one might be drip again, so I might go up to the 20. Now the watering days, how many days a week you wanna water? Right now, the Las Vegas Valley Water District at this time of the year says one day a week. So you're gonna tab across, and on the bottom you see, it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you hit the plus key for wherever you want it, and you, you hit enter and now I've got Monday programmed. I hit next, maybe I wanna skip Tuesday, Wednesday. So now I've got two days a week, I've got three times a day, and I've got the start times according to the grass or the drip. So then I'm going to put it back down to auto, very important, it'll say auto or run, and that's gonna get you into making sure the clock functions. It's the same whether you're using the Irritrol and Longini, which are in the same family. The Water, uh, water Master, the Rainbird and these Rainbirds are all pretty much the same. Rain Dial actually has a bar in the bottom. There's your off, there's your run, the middle's the program, but it's the same features, your plus and minus, your valve run times, your schedules, and then your start times. And then you can go program A, program B, program C. So they're all the same, whether you're doing something as simple as this or something as complicated as the Big Hunter, which is typically used on your bigger properties with more valves. The one thing I wanna point out really quick, if you have a Nielsen, which looks like this, or a Toro, just call me. I'll come out and program it for you because those are not very user-friendly at all.